Oh no! This is our budget 50cc two-stroke drift cart that started life as a kid's quad bike. And we've been building it over the past couple of months and it's been an insane amount of fun. First, it had a turbo. Then we tried it out with nitrous. But after reading all of your comments in the comment section on the previous videos, I've decided it's time to combine them and do both nitrous and a turbo. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. Welcome to the 12 days of Mikemas where we're doing daily vlogging every day for the 12 days leading up to Christmas. And I'm doing giveaways in every single video. Yesterday, Matt Taylor won himself a $100 Raceworks voucher. Shout out Matt, thank you for the beautiful kind words in the comments. And today we are giving away a $50 auto barn voucher. You need to be located in Australia to win this one. So sorry to anyone who is international. To win, simply jump in the comments below. Let me know what you think we should do with the drift cart next. I'll pick my favorite comment and send them out a $50 auto barn voucher. Shout out auto barn, you guys are freaking legends. So the turbo is making a return to the drift cart and I'm pretty excited to bolt this thing back on to the motor if I'm honest. But this is a massive unknown because putting nitrous and boost through this tiny two stroke motor is uh, well, it's gonna be kinda interesting. We also don't have much ability right now to add any more fuel with our carburetor because I don't have any more jets that we can install to upsize. So this little motor might be in a world of pain when we hit that nitrous button. First things first, we need to remount the turbo onto the motor. So let's go ahead and get the turbo mounted. <laughs> oh God. I totally forgot how freaking cool the turbo looks on this thing, especially with the painted frame. Check that out. That looks so cool. Nitrous turbo, so good. So I've got a little turbo manifold down here, turbo bolts on here, and then I did just weld in a little brace right here, so ruin the paint slightly, but nothing a bit of rattle can can't fix. Before we officially hook the turbo up to the motor, I think it'd be rude not to make sure the turbo still spools and it's all good because it's been sitting in the box for the last week or so. Not that there'd be anything wrong with it, but to be fair, I just want to see the turbo spool. All right, here we go. So the turbo definitely spools. Time to throw the frickin' intake on. Yeah, yeah. So our turbo intake is fully hooked up to the engine. They actually did it slightly differently this time than we did last time. So it goes from our tiny turbo right here through down the back through this stainless steel pipe. And then back here, I used this like rubber hose here. I actually used a nice length of it to go around here, up and into the stainless steel tubing. It's a little bit better than what we had last time because last time it was kind of really forced into this small area and had kind of a small kink in the hose, whereas this now is nice and open and everything's good to go. So this is actually V2 of our turbo setup. It's a little bit more revised, a little bit more tidy. And to be fair, it looks freaking sick. So now I'm gonna start it up quickly, make sure it runs nicely with the turbo setup, does all the things it needs to do. Plus we wanna just hear those turbo noises. So we're gonna give it a quick start. This motor's running so good ever since we ported it out. <laughs> Typical, as soon as he says that, it doesn't start. machine. <laughs> it just cracks me up. The turbo is the same size as the motor. That is so stupid. So now we need to hook up the nitrous to the front of the turbo. Now because obviously the intake is now here as opposed to here because we have the turbo on now, this is where the air gets drawn in and so this is where the nitrous needs to get drawn in as well. So I've taken the filter off our beautiful air intake that Cam Martin welded up here. Shout out Cam for your gangster welds. And we're gonna put that on the front like so. Then we can run the nitrous sprayer into here. We'll secure it down and that should be all we need to do to have nitrous and boost into our poor tiny little motor. So 
So our 50cc budget drift car is officially nitrous powered and turbo powered. So we have the nitrous running from the nitrous bottle all the way around in the line and into the front of our turbo right here. Here's the nozzle. So she just sits in here and she's ready to go. <laughs> One thing I'm absolutely gonna do before we go out onto the road is we're gonna take the plastic sheathing off these tires because I almost died last time when I hit the nitrous button with the plastic sheathing on because the car just literally wanted to go everywhere. It was so freaking unstable. Then we should be pretty well good to go for our road test. I'm also definitely gonna be wearing a helmet because this is going to be as scary as hell. So we are now ready to take our turbo nitrous powered drift cart out for its first ride. I feel like maybe I should wear a cup or something because like that engine is right near my good bits. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna switch to GoPro cam. We're gonna get that footage whilst being safe. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, I'm actually so nervous. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! I think something bad happened. It made some weird noises. What is that? Oh no! Oh my god! There's a hole in it! Oh, that is insane! Oh my god! That is not good! That is parts of the block right there. <laughs> oh, I think she might be dead. So I've got the car back inside the workshop and I think we've had a catastrophic failure. I think we've finally found the limits of our tiny 50cc two-stroke motor. <laughs> There's a hole in the block right here. The remnants were on the side of the road. That is freaking crazy. So the turbo and the nitrous were just too much for our little motor. I feel like that was either gonna go one of two ways. It was gonna be really successful or end really badly. And unfortunately for us, it's ended really badly. But you know what that means. That's enough for the 50cc. It's time to upgrade the motor. So jump in the comments and let me know what motor we need to put in this next. We've still got 10 days of the daily vlogging with the Mike Miss videos. So I can definitely jump down to the cart shop, buy a new motor and fit it. It'd be cool if we fit a bigger motor, try and make this thing do a wheelie or something like that. Maybe even try and spin the rubber tires on the rear. That is not the end of the drift cart series. We're gonna go bigger and better with this thing and I'm freaking excited. I'm sorry that this didn't work out as well as I had hoped with the turbo and the nitrous. Nonetheless, it was still a lot of fun and you guys still got some entertaining content out of it. RIP to our 50cc two stroke motor. And that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the carnage. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. You peace. Sad, blown up, drift cart, but we will rise from the ashes. Bye.